I discovered the valley of the shifting, whispering sands while prospecting for gold in one of the western states. I saw the silent windmills, the crazy, lopsided water tanks, the bones of cattle and burrows picked clean by buzzards and bleached by the desert sun. I stumbled over a crumbling buckboard almost completely covered by the sand, and stopping to rest, I heard a tinkling, whispering sound and suddenly realized that even though the wind was quiet, the sand did not lie still. I seemed to be surrounded by a mystery so heavy and oppressive I could scarcely breathe. For days and weeks, I wandered aimlessly in this valley, seeking answers to the many questions that raced through my confused mind. Where was everyone? Why the white bones, the dry wells, this barren valley where people had lived and died. Finally, I could go no further. My food and water gone, I sat down and buried my face in my hands, and resting thus, I learned the secret of the shifting, whispering sand. The sidewinders and the horn toads of the thorny chaparral. Endless sunny days and moonlit nights. And the coyotes' lonely yell. Coyotes' lonely yell. How the stars seem you could touch them. As you lay and gaze on high. As the heavens where we're hoping we'll be going when we die. How I managed to escape from the valley, I do not know, but now to pay my final debt for being spared, I must warn you of what I saw on that desert so many hours, or is it years ago? Yes, it always whispers to me of the days of long ago when the settlers and the miners fought the prophet of a home. Now the cattle roam the valley, happy people work the land, and now I found the aged miner lying dead upon the sand. Out there I could but wonder if he died by human hand. So I dug his grave and laid him on his back and crossed his hands. This is what they whispered to me on the quiet desert air of the people. If you want to learn their secrets, wander through this quiet land, and I'm sure you'll hear the story of the shifting, whispering sand. It is 